Shu Ran beat you with the same style that he uses. Simple as shit. You stick to the script like a read through. Think I'm sick of this bit? I'm sticking with it. It's a preview after all. But after KOTD flew this leader to the beach to not get classy 3PO like R2D2 in a green room. Pussy. <laughs> Pussy. This battle rap shit is something you bleed through. You camel toe. See the V through his jeans too like a V suit. That, it's a Game Boy. Made it past the elite few. Now you beat blue for that money. I read black for the green too like a heel bruise. It's so V2 that's equal to Lee Coop than the PC he used to make beats through. <laughs> He used to make beats through when it crashed. And then reboot with the screen blue and the CPU freeze through because the same. And then reboot with the screen blue and the CPU freeze through because the safe mode to what I'll command see through. Ryu and Ryu and T2000, I'm heat proof. Heat proof, heat could deceive you. Because he breathed fumes when the gas leak blew on the cheap fuse that he keeps loose like his knee tune. The one time that he walked with the steel too, but my point is this. It's ironic, basically, the pain for this recruit was when he leaked through the same window that he threw his career through. That's how you do that shit. Behavior. Yeah. I got a 30 shot clip for your fat friend. You came home to catch a wiggy on the back end. I got to make him do the good, uh, then back <laughs> Selling soul for a half a dot. What? I keep my rocket close by. I'm an astronaut. <laughs> ah! All my hoes is upper echelon with no Travis Scott. Ah, you just a bunch of fake props. You like carrot top ah. a hypocrite. So when you spit this shit, it's just a paradox. Ah! I'm true to my religion. Super Saiyan 4 with X ray super <laughs> Luck, I don't believe in superstition. No. So fuck a body bag, this gonna be a crucifix. Oh. I send shots that a pass through bill. Cut his fucking lights out. That's a pass through bill. Oh. I'm the king of gun lines, king of the punch lines, king of metaphors. You niggas is sometime. Niggas always come get me when it's crunch time. You can't compete, you lunch me with a lunch line. Oh. Washed him up. Now it's time to dry your boy. John, the only nigga you can find was Sire your boy inside. Your boy gonna make me slow the whip down. I ain't using no cards, me but F you. Miss Nina, get up an attitude adjustment. Soon as John Cena, big away. <laughs> Get tall, let's get the sire, it's whip on fire, I'll scoop him for the cream, this isn't bright. Mad slow, this isn't Mike, it's baby nine, cooking fire. And I got something big stash, Richard Pryor. I thought these niggas, I thought these niggas was next, well get the pliers. Oh my gosh, Paul, forget the choir. Guys, Paul, it's a choir. Word on the street is that y'all ball, bullets hitting the van. Damn. You got this shit kicking like John claude you a wizard? You a wizard, I'ma get y'all pissed if y'all pulled, and I'm throwing that bullet. Go right through John Wall. You ready? Fuck up, let's fuck him up. I slide through the back. I got the front. The double clutch, I got one strap. I got the other one. Let's double clutch. clutch. Tap, 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 look, look like they doing the double clutch. Yeah. Yeah. I can't make tracks like that, man. You can't clash like Jed can. So lucky for me, this ain't a drop, sir, a web ham. It's right between your eyes. GSP with the headband. Blood everywhere from the 7D to a red cam. Okay, now you pardoning me? Pardoning me, but your part in the scene is unparting to me, departing from me. So split my wig like he pardoned to me. That's a parting to me. It's a fake front, but it sounds good. You're the only parting to me. You're from the 2012 Killer Crush. 2012 Killer Crush. Oh, you mean 2012? Only here because of Mark Griston Blizzard Crush. You mean 2012? You mean 2012, driven on the road that we built you crop. You mean 2012, bandwagon, Spain cause the hits it got. Bicker lots on Twitter crop, reason vets were quitting crop. Cringy crop, cringy crop, seem sick if you didn't flop. Cause you only had to compete with Callum Boom Eek and Gibble crop. <laughs> About a killer crop. Are you kidding, dog? Some fucking nuclear winter crop. Cause like four of you herbs made it, the rest of you fucking withered off. And you stand up. And you stand out, cause you got a couple leaves and a crop of twigs and stalks. I'm from that first event they did with Scots. Here from the beginning crop. That's, yo, that's Chris and Tom, Gizmo Khan. Definition done, silken shot, scissors, prawn and mushy dog, the list goes on. Yo, and that's what pissed me off. Cause you think you're vets, and we think we're not. Just cause you can put people under you like uh, Mickey Lock, Smith and Dots, and they can put people under them like Willsey Shocks, Twisted Talks, and they can put people under them like Dylan, Rob, Wilson, Flawless and Foss. Why will this ego trip and stop? People ask why the real vets are so humble. 
And it's because we know people could do the same to us, like Piff and Hom, and they know people could do the same to them, like Stig and Prof, and they know people could do the same to them, like Jin and Swan, and they know people could do the same to them, like the scribble jam that Slim was on, yeah. all the way back to two Odi at house parties in the Bronx. Yeah. It's like you give them props, if they're hot, then sit and watch them flip and flop, like your disc I copped. Humble beginning stop, then they're the biggest shot But this is where the killer crops, ego tripping stops When I leave C-Red and split his top, you'll switch the mosque for a synagogue <laughs> Battles against daylight aren't real battles Right! They're exhibitions in entertainment Well if I don't fight crazy with crazy, well then really I'm thinking basic yeah. And I know he loves to call people bigots So I'm hoping he gets the statement and I'm wondering how the fuck's he gonna call Abraham Lincoln racist? <laughs> Salvation's my specialty. <laughs> Baptize him and get him clean. Hold it he is shackled to a system where getting paid costs a hefty fee. And he dressed up as a slave against Penn State, so that meaning was meant to be that days a slave to all these antics for day. I'm here to set you free. Yeah. Uh, his last battle, he said he was an abusive father. The Chupacabra. Well, I'm the Roman army with newer armor and nuke disarmament. It's Luca Brasi to a toddler. I'm stopping this Cucaracha. I'll smack the shit out of him. It's drunk off exclusive vodka. Oh. Oh. He pretends to be gay, but he's not. He just does it for attention. He is a closeted heterosexual, and the world just can't accept it. He has headlines for headlines, and that makes me apoplectic. He is not attention star, he is attention anorexic. He's in love with the He's in love with the life. Like, can anyone else get attention like one single time? Oh, jealous bitch, he could never be one of the guys. But go out, he act out and fuck up the vibe. Like at his son's talent show, with the sun on the rise, he's not eternal. He would hate to see his son getting shine. He probably jump on stage, probably shove him aside, set something on fire, and fucking start wow. jumping the knives. But homie, but homie, but homie, that's cool. Cause they like that's you. But remember, you are nothing unless you play the fool. Yeah. See, his antics are putrid. His lyrics stink as well. But what always kills a skunk is the publicity he gives himself. Paint on a guy's face. Up on a live stage as he panders to the corrupt taste of the white race. Mm. Any stupidity and bigotry for three acts that are interwoven with imitations and exaggerations. Dressing up in different clothes. Now y'all think I'm talking about daylight. But really, what you didn't know is all of that is just the definition of a minstrel show. Oh. So, he has the fans full. They say, you don't get day? He's genius. He's <laughs> genius. The guy who strips shits and can't stop playing with his penis. Genius. Genius. More like a retard who's clearly confused. When I heard a KOTD battler was autistic, I was sure it was you. Now listen, everything weird is not genius. Everything you do is not worth filming. Every reach is not groundbreaking. Every thought he has is not brilliant. So stop it with your thoughts about the way that he's dressing. It doesn't hold any symbolism. It doesn't have a deep message. He is nothing but shock value. A bitch should be ignored. He dresses up to get attention. What makes him different than a whore? He's the best at winning and losing. Right. He is the best at nothing, yeah. with no signs of improving. He is not the best winner. He is not the best loser. He is not the best rapper. He is not the best hooper. He is exceedingly mediocre and just hunting for views and is only even exceptional at one thing he do. He's the best at being an attention whore and having a shitty attitude. But then again, I guess the Kardashian family is better at all that than you. <laughs> Daylight and his horrible nature, y'all have to treat him as a child instead of a pure entertainer. Mm -hmm. Because y'all are implicit when you treat him like a lord and a savior. When he acts out, he wants attention, and y'all reward that behavior. He acts out, he acts out because of his frustration at his inability to communicate. Like a child who wants a bib, a bottle, or a diaper change. He is a kid Oof. throwing a tantrum. That's the style that he's picking, so he's fine. Just ignore him, let him get him out of his system. <laughs> A self-serving, fucking insufficient little fucking bitch who is nothing but a drain, who is completely undeserving of any spot at this table, who is yes. fucking a battle rapper yes. with all of yes. his who is a yes. who is a yes. who is a yes. who is a yes. who is a 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 who
is moving away. There's only one way to fix this, Devon, and it has to happen today.